Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas leader Ismail Haniya had their first face-to-face -face meeting in years. I-24 News Middle East correspondent Ari Losseran has more on that. A rare handshake, the first of its kind in nearly six years. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met on Tuesday with Hamas chief Ismail Haniya in Algeria. The two visited the North African country for its 60th Independence Day celebrations as Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboun reportedly pushed for the meeting. This is an important issue because uh, during the past time, all the time Hamas uh, felt that Egypt is biased toward the Palestinian Authority. And when Qatar hosts the meetings, the Fatah felt that Qatar is biased toward Hamas. Algeria stand on the same uh, uh, distance from both Fatah and Hamas. So that gives them credibility. Uh, and that uh, means that the offers could succeed. The rare face-to-face -face comes amid a decade and a half of bitter infighting that have left Palestinian politics paralyzed. The parties officially split back in 2007, following Hamas's violent takeover of the Gaza Strip after Fatah's loss in parliamentary elections. Over the years, the sides have engaged in several attempts at reconciliation, none of which were successful. It's necessary to uh, enable the Russian authority to uh, restrain in the West Bank because it suffers a lot of things and uh, uh, Hamas gives them a hard time. So maybe it will be like a truce between Fatah and Hamas for the short time to enable the Palestinian authority to regain more strength and control in the West Bank. Tuesday's meeting, which the Algerian president dubbed as brotherly, has raised speculations over renewed attempts to promote a unity government and perhaps paving the way for long overdue general elections in the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian leadership has promised a return to the ballot box on numerous occasions, most recently last year, but elections have not yet happened. Until they do, Palestinians will continue to wait as their mistrust in leadership continues to spiral downwards.